going to be cooking up a salmon and spinach bake. Now I use the word bake because once we've assembled this dish, we're going to put it in the oven, bake it up. And when it comes out, it's got a beautiful golden brown colour on top and underneath it's really yummy. So I'm just going to first of all run you through the ingredients. Now the first ingredient I'm going to use is the salmon. Now I've actually got 400 grams and this is like a fillet and I've sort of sliced it into little sort of pieces really. So 400 grams of salmon. You don't have to use salmon. You can use any fish you like. The important thing is to make sure there's no bones. Then we've got the spinach. Now the spinach is going to be part of the base along with the onions and garlic. So that's going to have some lovely flavours. Now with the spinach, if you really like your spinach or you need to use a bit more, double up on the sort of spinach if you need to. I've got 220 grams. Now we've got a whole onion there, a sort of yellow onion, a white onion. Just peel it, chop it up. I mean, you can chop it as fine as you like. The main thing with the onion is cook it until it's translucent, softened down a little bit. Probably take about eight minutes on a low heat. And really, you know, that is part of the base. Then we've got a couple of cloves of garlic. Peel those, try and crush them down as small as you can. It's just about getting the flavors with the onions. And then finally, we add the spinach in. Now with the spinach, make sure you wash it if you need to, or it says pre-wash, because you want to put that in, you don't want sort of gritty bits in there. So that makes up the base, the onion, the garlic, and the spinach. So once we've got the base all made up, and then we've laid the fish on top of the base and make sure you season the fish, then we've got to put this lovely sort of creamy sauce on top. Now to make this creamy sauce, I'm going to be using double cream, lemon. Now with the lemon, we're just going to use the outside zest of the lemon. So get like a grater and just get the yellow bits off because it really puts the flavours into the cream. Then I've got some fresh dill. Now I've got this straight out of the garden so it really is fresh. I know dill isn't always the easiest one to get. So if you can't get dill, just use fresh parsley. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now that sauce, we then just pour over the top of the fish and it goes into the spinachy sort of base and really adds a lovely flavour. Finally, we top it up, we've got a few potatoes. Now with these potatoes, I'm just gonna boil those in their skins for about eight or 10 minutes, soften them down, peel the skins off, and when they're sort of nice and cool, then we can actually grate it all over the top of that white creamy sauce, and then we can add just a little bit of cheese, put it in the oven, and when you bake it up, it smells good, it looks good, and it tastes good. So I'm just going to prepare everything, get me pots and pans, boiling water from the kettle and get those potatoes on the go and just get everything ready so we can get on with the cooking. So I'm going to go over to the hob and start the cooking. So I've got the potatoes and they've just come up to a boil. Now what you want to do is really boil those for about 8 to 10 minutes. Then you can fish them out and let them cool down. Now as soon as we finish with the potatoes, tip all the water away and then you want to dry off the pan and then we're going to start cooking up the onions, garlic and spinach. So with the potatoes, I've just turned those off now and they've been cooking for about 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is take them out, put them on a plate, let them cool down. Once they've cooled down, we can take the skin off and they should be nice and dry and then we can grate them over the top of this creamy sauce. Now with the pan, once I've taken out all the water and the potatoes, dry it off and we're gonna start frying up the onions, the garlic and then the spinach. First of all, I'm just going to use a bit of olive oil, put the heat on and then we're going to put in the onions and just gently fry them until they soften down. I'm just going to put the heat on, let's say not too high, fairly low really. So I've chopped up the onion and that's all ready to put in. This one, you, you know, your house or flat, it starts to smell good. Put the onion in and the garlic later on and it just smells really tasty straight away. So, as I say, put the heat down if it's too high. I might just turn mine down a little bit and give it a good mix up. And say, on a low heat, I'd say for about eight to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna put in the crushed up garlic. Now with the two garlic cloves, I'm just gonna put them through like a little crusher. But if you haven't got one of these crusher machines, you can use a pestle or mortar, or you can just sort of chop it down as fine as you can. Oops, all right, put that in there. That's the first one. 
and get the second one in there. Now with the garlic, make sure you don't burn it. So I'm just going to turn the heat off for a minute. Now with the spinach, so I'm using a whole bag, and I'm going to put a lid on there as well. Put a lid on that. And just give it the occasional stir. And really, you want to wait just until the spinach is kind of wilted, you know, sort of softening up slightly. Only probably take a couple of minutes. So I've had the spinach in there for about two minutes. So let's just pull that lid off. Give it a quick stir. Look at that, it's already shrunk down, probably by about half. So that's fine, that's all ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is get myself a baking dish and we're going to pour that as the base. Right, I'm just going to show you, that's the straight off the hob there. So what you want to do is just put that in and spread it with the spoon evenly. Now like I say, you can see that the spinach has really kind of got really small. So if you want to double up on the spinach, absolutely no problem at all. Just got the last bit there. Just grates out the bottom of the pan. So just kind of spread this around a little bit, fairly evenly, right up to the edges. Look at that. Smells good, so good in this kitchen. And that is just the base, beautiful. So now we've got the base, the next thing is gonna be the fish you're gonna use. Now obviously I'm using salmon, and first of all, I'm just gonna season up with salmon, both sides, all round the edges, salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna place it on top of the spinach and the onion and the garlic mixture. Now with the salmon, what I've done is, just got a bowl, a bit of salt and pepper, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on. Make sure you put plenty of seasoning, and I'm going to do that on both sides. So I'm just going to turn over the fish and do the other side as well. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to grab it there, I've got some seasoning on my hand, I'm just going to rub that in. I'm just going to place it along, or a bit more seasoning, just really kind of rub it in. There you go. So now we've got the base and we've got the fish sitting on top, all we need to do now is to make that white creamy sauce and then once we've made it, we pour it on top, grate the potato, little bit of cheese, all done. So I'm now going to get on with the white creamy sauce. So we're going to make up this sort of white lovely sauce. Now I've got my lemon there and you can see I've sort of grated it on the outside, finely grated it and also I've got my dill. As I say, if you haven't got dill, just use a good handful of freshly chopped up parsley. So to start making up this white sauce, first thing I've got is double cream. So let's just pull the lid off, tip it all in, all that. I think there's 284 ml. Then I've got the lemon zest and I've got the dill. So let's just put those in and give it a little stir. I'm just going to give that a quick stir. Now you're going to need to season this. I'm going to use a little bit of salt and pepper. So let's start off with some salt. And I'm going to use black pepper, any pepper you like, white pepper, whatever you like. Now give that a stir. Let's just try a little bit of that. Gonna put just a little bit more salt in there. That's it. Now next of all, I'm just gonna take this out of the way and I'm gonna bring me salmon back in view. And really, we're just gonna pour this mixture straight over the whole lot. Get it all out there. And you can give it a gentle sort of swoosh around just to make sure everything's covered. So again, just be very careful, that's it, like that. Now the last two things we've got to do is going to be the potatoes, sort of grate the potatoes over the top, and also if you're going to use it, a little bit of cheese. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and bring the potatoes in and we're going to peel them up and then grate them. Now I've been peeling the potatoes and really this skin comes off very easily, it's just sort of you know, you can almost do it with your fingers, to be honest with you. So, I've peeled all the potatoes. Make sure they're nice and cold, 
and then we can actually start grating them like a cheese grater all over that white sauce and the fish. All right, so I'm just going to grab a potato and we're just going to peel it just like you would cheese really. So I'm going to do that for all three of the potatoes. It'll all start dropping through in a minute. Look at that, big lump of it. So I'll carry on doing that. So I've grated the three potatoes and look at that, it looks great and we haven't even got the cheese on there yet. So that's exactly what I'm going to put on next, bit of cheese. Now I made a fisherman's pie not so long ago and I used this cheese, Gier. So I'm going to use a little bit more of that. You could use Parmesan or any cheese you want. Or equally, if you don't want cheese, you don't have to add it. I just like a little bit of that. And I think I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper on there as well. A bit of salt. And a bit of pepper. You can use white pepper. The ground black pepper that I'm using. Look at that. That looks really nice. And that is ready to go now. So we've got to get this in the oven, get it cooking. I'm just going to lift that up. Just put it in the baking tray there, and then we're going to put it in the oven. So it's a preheated oven. Now I'm going to cook that for about half an hour, temperature wise, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark six. Now when it's finished, it should be bubbling underneath, and all the top is going to be a lovely golden brown colour and it's going to smell delicious. So about half an hour, keep an eye on it though. So we've been cooking the salmon and spinach bake for half an hour. So let's have a look at it and see how it looks. Just pull that out. Whoa. Oh that looks really nice. Look at that. Whoa. Beautiful colours. All that sort of crispy bits. It's like all the roast potatoes on top, nice and crispy, looking delicious. So what I'm going to do is pull that out, put it on the table, and I'm probably going to leave it for about 10 minutes just to cool down slightly, but oh, that looks so good and I want to tuck in. So I'm just going to try a little bit of that. Let's see what we've got here. Look, under there we've got that beautiful piece of salmon, and underneath that you've got the spinach. Let me just try a little bit of that. Mm. Oh yeah, really nice with that creamy sauce. And if I just grab a bit of this, we've got this scrummy bit of potato there. I'll show you that. Look, that looks really nice. Mm. And you get a hint of lemon, dill. It's a really nice dish. I love it. And just the right amount of sauce, not too much. But you can see here, they've got the sort of spinach, the bit of green sauce, the flavours, all the goodness. And as I say, if you want to, you can double up on the amount of spinach you've got. But I think it's a really nice tasty dish. Mm. Thanks for watching and enjoy the original Naked Chef.